Japanese islands, situated on the western rim of the Pacific Ocean. Fukuoka City, located on the northern part of Kyushu, one of the Japanese islands, has a population of about 1.3 million. As one of the leading cities in Japan, this metropolis continues economic development, but in spite of its million person population, still maintains an excellent urban environment. From the late 1960s through the 1970s, however, Fukuoka City faced severe problems related to the management of waste generated by this economic development. At that time, most waste was disposed of through simple landfill, and landfill management efforts were unable to keep pace with the influx of waste. The landfills generated noxious odors, contaminated leachate, and methane gas, and often suffered major subsidences. To resolve these problems, Fukuoka City constructed a series of intermediate treatment facilities and at the same time launched a joint research program with Fukuoka University. Today, these efforts have resulted in landfills maintained in excellent condition. Let's take a closer look at the Fukuoka method. Fukuoka University noted the importance of air and microorganisms in the landfill waste layers and classified landfills into three types. The conventional anaerobic type, the semi-aerobic type, and the aerobic type. The concept of the semi-aerobic landfill was developed and proposed by a group led by Professor Masataka Hanashima of Fukuoka University. After the concept was demonstrated through practical trials implemented jointly by Fukuoka City and Fukuoka University, it was christened the Fukuoka Method. The basic structure of the Fukuoka Method landfill is a network of perforated pipes with a sufficiently large cross-section laid across the bottom of the landfill. This design not only prevents leachate from stagnating in the waste layers, it also utilizes the thermal convection currents generated by microbiological reaction within the waste to draw outside air into the landfill through the drainage pipes. This flow of air promotes biologic activity by the aerobic microorganisms, which improves the quality of the leachate flowing through the waste and suppresses the generation of methane gas. The Fukuoka method has an extremely simple structure and is simple to maintain and manage in operation. Based on fundamental research initiated by Professor Masataka Hanashima in 1966, the first trials of the Fukuoka method were held in a large concrete container. Initial results were good and led to large-scale testing at the Hisayama landfill site as consigned research from the Ministry of Health and Welfare for a three-year period from 1973. The tests demonstrated that the design has a significant effect on leachate quality. Based on these test results, Fukuoka University formally proposed the new semi-aerobic landfill type. Fukuoka City responded by adopting the new landfill design in its Shinkamata landfill site as the first implementation of semi-aerobic landfill technology in Japan. The Busetsugaura landfill site was designed and constructed as a full-scale semi-aerobic type. The research and full-scale demonstration were well received throughout Japan, and a number of local governments adopted the semi-aerobic landfill technology as a result. By about 1975, 
the new technology was widely known as the Fukuoka method. Today, the Fukuoka method has established itself as the standard type of landfill in Japan. Fukuoka University has continued to develop a variety of landfill structures and systems, and tests are yet underway to further enhance and expand the functions of the landfill. Fukuoka City has incorporated these improvements in the construction of its Fushitani and Nakata landfill sites. Here are the major components of the semi-aerobic landfill type. The floor of the landfill is equipped with leachate collection pipes and gas ventilation pipes. The leachate collection pipes are perforated plastic pipes, surrounded with a sufficiently thick layer of small stones. Most of the waste disposed of by landfill in Fukuoka City is non-combustible waste, and therefore the gas ventilation pipes are installed at a 40 meter pitch. This pitch would have to be tightened up for landfills with larger ratios of organic materials. The Fukuoka method can be implemented throughout the Asian Pacific region at low cost. Professor Yasushi Matsufuji of Fukuoka University, dispatched as a long-term expert by the Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, spearheaded the transfer of Fukuoka method technology to the Ampang Jajar landfill site in Malaysia as the first trial of the method in Southeast Asia. In this landfill, leachate collection pipes were fabricated out of locally available bamboo. and the leachate was recirculated to further heighten the water cleansing effect. Water quality was improved significantly by reusing waste activated charcoal, also available locally. A variety of gas ventilation pipes were used, made of assemblies of wood or bamboo, stacks of old tires, and steel drums. The Fukuoka method can be implemented using materials readily and inexpensively available in each locale, making it a simple, convenient technology with a wide range of application. This landfill site was rated highly as a successful example of an ODA-sponsored JICA project and has attracted considerable attention not only in Southeast Asia, but also in Central and South America. Habitat, the United Nations Center for Human Settlements, opened its Fukuoka office in 1997 and requested the assistance of Fukuoka City and Fukuoka University in an ongoing project in the Islamic Republic of Iran. The project focused on methods of controlling the emission of methane gas, classified as a greenhouse effect gas, from landfills in that nation. One noteworthy point about the new project was that the connection boxes on the leachate collection pipes and the gas ventilation pipes in the landfill were made of brick, a material readily available in Iran. The completed project is being monitored in operation now, and expectations are high as it marks the first application of the technology to the Middle East. Training workshops were also held for local engineers. Habitat is an official agency of the United Nations, established to contribute to an improvement of the residential environment for human beings. The Fukuoka office focuses primarily on the Asian Pacific region. 
Habitat recognized the advantages of the Fukuoka method in improving the environment around landfill sites and is actively promoting it throughout Asia and the Pacific. The Fukuoka method is a way to work with nature to reduce the impact of landfill sites on the environment. At the same time, it is a technology that does not require high capital investments or highly trained specialists. For these reasons, it is the most appropriate technology for developing as well as developed countries. We appreciate the advantages of the Fukuoka method and will continue to encourage countries in Asia and the Pacific to consider adopting this technology. Former landfills in Fukuoka City today hold a range of facilities widely used by the residents, including a special school, the citizen's refresh farm, and an athletic park, while long-term monitoring continues for items like gas release, subsidence, corrosion, and other environmental concerns. The utilization of the Fukuoka method provides rapid stabilization of the landfill and contributes to the construction of a comprehensive recycling society, including the reuse of land resources. The cooperative research and development by Fukuoka City and Fukuoka University has also helped establish the field as a subject for academic research. The Fukuoka method will continue to contribute to our lives as a fundamental technology supporting sustainable development.